I've been having amazing results on the keto diet. And this week, I'm going to incorporate intermittent fasting. So for those that don't know what intermittent fasting is, you choose a period of time during the day where you are, um, where you're not eating and in the time that you will be eating. So for me, I'm doing the 16, eight, 16 hours, uh, will be my time where I will not eat. And that includes the hours when I'm sleeping. Eight hours is the hours that I will be eating. So during the day, eight hours. Um, typically, I'll wake up and I'll have bulletproof coffee in the morning with MCT oil and butter. And that way I can continue fasting. It doesn't break my fast. Uh, then around 1130, I'll have my first meal of the day. Um, so it's very easy for me to do it that way. And with the, that, you get some amazing results. Now, I want to show you the foods that I'll be eating while I'm doing the keto diet along with intermittent fasting. So let me just show you. All right, so in my fridge, I basically had to separate the foods that I should not eat from the foods that I can't eat because um, I don't live here alone. So I have to make sure, you know, there's food in refrigerator for other people and not just myself. But on this top shelf, I have like yellow mustard. There's some um, dill pickles and um, olives. Have olives here. Take those out. I have the small olives, but I also get the big ones. So these are really good, like for snacking. Also, as a side, I use this as a side dish sometimes because it's really low as far as carbs. It's excellent. Uh, total carbs zero. So you can eat Spanish olives, but you can't eat the whole jar. You have to be, you know. <laughs> Follow whatever the uh, sizing portion says for you to eat. Um, this, I cannot eat. So I'm not even sure how it ended up on my my row, but I guess I'm out of space down here. Certain salad dressings, I just choose not to eat. You can have salad dressing on the keto diet, but I choose to limit what type of salad dressings I eat. Um, I bought like this ranch dressing and this other one is all in lemon garlic uh, organic and it's really good but i'm choosing not to eat it because of the carb count the total carbs and this one it says i believe two grams and but the main thing it wasn't the carbs it's actually not the carbs the carbs in here is zero carbs but this is what you have to be really careful when you're on um, a keto diet you have to look out for the ingredients now the very first ingredient Hi, uh, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time reading it. It says sunflower oil. That's a no-no on keto. You can have it if you choose, but it may stall your progress, your weight loss. So I choose not to eat it. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to follow the same, you know, plan that I'm doing. Um, I made my own mustard, I'm sorry, my mayonnaise. I made mayonnaise for the first time and it tastes pretty good, but the only thing is I made it with olive oil. So it's really easy to make. The olive oil has a really, really strong flavor to it. So next time I'm going to use the avocado oil and I hear that that one tastes a lot better. Um, hot sauce, I use that a lot on different foods just to season and give it some spice. And if you look down here, this is my do not touch row right now. I'm choosing not to uh, eat or, you know, eat these salad dressings because uh, they have different oils in it, like sunflower oil, safflower oil. So I'm choosing not to eat those steak sauces. I'm um, staying away from those. Now, I had plenty of mayonnaise until I had a really good suggestion from one of my um, YouTubers. Uh, gave me a really good some really good advice and said to watch out for mayonnaise because it can cause inflammation. And I was, I was like, wow, let me do some research on that. And yes, and mayonnaise can cause inflammation. So that's why I'm on this path of making my own mayonnaise. Thank you to the YouTuber who made the comment, gave me some great advice. 
Uh, something that I drink a lot of around here, seltzer. You can get all kinds of flavors. But I, not only that, you can add to it. You can add like different um, zero calories, zero sugar uh, sweeteners like uh, Crystal Light. and Or you can just drink it plain, add lemon juice. Sometimes I drink mine with um, the apple cider vinegar and lemon. And I make a, a drink out of that, a cocktail. So up here, this is kimchi. This is a low carb um, cabbage. And it's really spicy, so it has a uh, gives your food a good flavor. If you want something spicy, along with your meats, try kimchi. It's very good on keto. Sour cream. I like to use sour cream. Um, there's plenty of eggs in there. I uh, do a lot of eggs, boiled eggs deviled eggs, omelets, scrambled eggs, and I, I, I don't get sick of the eggs, so um, most mornings, that's what I have for breakfast, eggs. Unless I'm fasting, then I'll do, um, I'm just doing bulletproof coffee, so I'm not eating eggs, so it gives me a break from eggs when I'm intermittent fasting, like this week. I'll be doing my intermittent fasting, so I won't have eggs in the morning. Um, this is my salmon, and let me get take it out so you can see it. I buy one of these every week, and I like to cook it rotisserie style, and I use this, like, every week I buy one of these, and I cook my salmon for the week, and I'm going to put this back. I'm able to use, like, eat off of that for the week. Not only me, but my family, they like to eat some of that as well, so it get a really good quality, good buy when you get the salmon like that. Um, you can also do canned salmon as well um butter so i use a lot of butter i keep it in the freezer this is the one i keep in the fridge lots of butter um so down here i have my avocados i try to keep these at all times um on hand lemon i slice them up like i'll take a lemon i'll cut it up into fours and i keep it in a baggie so i have it at all times uh, here's some more pickles, dill pickles, peppers for cooking food. When you're cooking, you can use it to help season up your food. Uh, this is some lettuce, and I like these with the big leaves because you can use it, uh, like if you're making a sandwich or a burger, use it as bread. Instead of eating, you know, using bread, you can use the leaves and make, make, like, make it like a sandwich. So. bacon bits sometimes i'll put this in my um omelet or i may sprinkle it on my salad and then on the door when i don't use the the real uh, lemons i use this organic lemon this is um santa cruz organic lemon it's just really good quick um of course my bragg's apple cider vinegar and heavy whipping cream i keep that a lot of that in the house um something that i don't have a lot left of but i use a lot is um cream cheese and this one i got from dollar tree i wanted to try and see what it tastes like um and it was okay i didn't have any problems with when i ate it i didn't taste like any bad flavor or any aftertaste or anything like that so it was good it was good cream cheese um something else that i like miracle noodles or sometimes i'll do the tofu uh shirataki noodles hope I'm, i hope i'm saying that correctly shirataki noodles but these are the miracle noodles and it tastes just like pasta but without the carbs let me just read. It has the total carbohydrate is one gram of carbs for half the bag. I believe it's half. Right. You, this is supposed to be two servings. And it's only one gram of carbohydrate. Zero sugar. So it's excellent. Uh, dietary fiber. Two grams of fiber. Um, which cancels out the carb. It's really basically no carbs. And it's good for like pasta dishes without the carbs. Um I had to give up my sugar-free coffee creamers. 
Uh, I was drinking this during the first couple of weeks when I was on keto, but then I started really looking into the ingredients and realized it's not something that I should be putting in my coffee. So I just pre pretty much stick to the heavy whipping cream. But um, if there's nothing else, I, of course I could use it. I just choose not to and I, I stick with the heavy whipping cream just to be on the safe side. Um, that's pretty much it for my refrigerator and down in my freezer. So I have some, see that. All right, so I have some shrimp, some riced cauliflower, um, some Easy Peel shrimp, I keep a lot of shrimp in the refrigerator, um, some more butter, bacon, that's bacon and tilapia. I have a couple of kinds of different kinds of tilapia, as well as some Brussels sprouts. So I'll take that out oh, for dinner. I'm gonna take my Brussels sprouts out and cook it up for dinner. So, yeah. Mess. Let's see. But that's pretty much it. So, yeah, during this week, I will be incorporating intermittent fasting along with my keto diet. I'm excited about the results. Um, I noticed my stomach already, like if I can see the difference, it's getting flatter. And as I'm losing the weight that I need to lose, I have a lot of weight that I want to lose because I, I just need to lose it. But I can notice the difference in the way my clothes are fitting. Uh, the way I feel, my energy level, and the way I'm able to get around, move around more. I just feel better. When I don't eat um, the right kinds of foods, like I'll eat what they call dirty keto. If I'm out, like on the weekend, I'll, I might eat out at a restaurant and I'll eat foods that are keto, but maybe not as, um, what's the word, clean as the keto foods I would cook on my own at home, I can feel a difference. I start to feel sluggish, you know, tired, fatigued, and inflammation. I start, you know, noticing I have problems with inflammation. So um, I'm definitely like excited about the upcoming week to see what my results will be uh, as I incorporate intermittent fasting along with my keto diet. Please, if you haven't already, if you find my information to be helpful in any way, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you're starting uh, intermittent fasting, if you have any tips for me, I would love to hear it. Please also share this with five other people. Until next time, take care.